so last class <coughs> we discussed what is a uh, EBS elastic black you know right what is elastic black store is and uh, how to create volume and uh, how to attach to volume to instance and uh, how to mount how to format how to mount it can you see my screen is it visible yes okay now so yesterday we see right so i want to devops ops So yesterday, you know, right, uh, what is EBS and uh, how it will work. You know, right, go to here. So yesterday we discussed how to create a uh, EBS volume. So volume is nothing but uh, simply if you want to understand like a hard disk, you know, right, extra space. So what is EBS volume is nothing but uh, extra space volume is nothing but uh, so extra space So already Yesterday we discussed right so volume is nothing but uh, EBS volume. This is like a uh, storage That's it, right? So storage so EBS volume So we EBS volume is nothing but like uh, storage, you know, right? Just we created just we created a one uh, drive 1 GB and just we attach it to what we did we attach it to attached to instance attached to instance and uh, next what we did uh, so we can format and we can use it so format the drive format the drive and uh, so we can use it so that is simply you can uh, if you want to you know right simply if you want to understand like drive like a hard disk Suppose if you don't have space, you are buying one hard disk and we are formatting, we are using, right? Same way. So here storage volume, just this is like, uh, this is like also one storage and we need to attach the wherever. And here one thing we need to notice, uh, where is instance is running, uh, same availability zone, we have to create a volume also. Otherwise it won't work. Already you know, right? So for example, my instance is running, 1b my instance is running uh, so 1b and uh, so if you want to attach value at value also we need to create the same availability zone and attach it and this is like uh, simply understand local drive and how it will work and all you know there is one more option is available under the volume one more option is available under the volume snapshot this is uh, very very important interval so they are asking see if you come to elastic block store there is volumes volume is nothing but we creating drives and attach it to particular instance and we can use it format and use it and same way there is one more option snapshot so snapshot is nothing but uh, you know right uh, so this is like uh, how we can say snapshot is nothing but this is like a uh, storage uh, sorry backup that is a uh, volume is storage, but this is like backup. So next, uh, uh, snapshot. Snap, SNAP, snapshot is nothing but simply if you want to understand backup. So now I attached. So I need to take backup. Yesterday we created also uh, volume, right? This volume I attached to some instance. Now if you want to take backup, how it will work? Backup is nothing but you know, right? So we are maintaining some data. So the same data, unfortunately, there is my instance is gone. And how to take backup and how to attach this uh, this uh, snapshot to another instance also. That is our wish. So simply, if you want to understand, so simply, if you want to understand, uh, so like backup only. Backup. So this is only one time copy of data and we can use uh, and uh, so we can use anywhere any region there is no uh, specific uh, so there is no specific you know right uh, restrictions 
so ebs value we need to space uh, there is some restriction where is instance is running that reason only that availability zone only we have to create we have to attach it but here not like that so not like that simply if you want to take backup or copy of data if you want to understand also copy so that is a copy of your data i want to copy my data or you want to take backup and that case you should go for a snapshot so mostly you know right uh, so something if something goes wrong i created one more instance i want that data so that case mostly we should go for mostly we should go for snapshot okay so now same thing there is one option volumes and all you know right same thing now how to create a snapshot and all we'll see clear guys even if you type uh, so what is uh, so aws snapshot now we'll see how to create and how it will work now see here so ebs snapshot are like like uh, data copy and all this is the official document if you want to so know more about how it will work a snapshot and all ebs snapshot provide the simple and secure data protection solution that is designed to protect your block storage data such as ebs volume boot volumes and whatever you want so ebs volume boot volumes as well as on premises data and so this and all so point copy of data and we can use it to enable disaster recovery you know right disaster recovery means uh, something uh, so my instance is uh, destroyed my instance is uh, so deleted uh, something now what about my data how to maintain your data so that case we should go for that case we should go for you should go for snapshot and across uh, across regions and accounts and uh, so we can there is no restriction wherever we want we can create it and we can do it frame okay. so that case mostly we should go for uh, so this one now this is the this is the that case we can go it uh, so this one now we'll see uh, practically how it will work same only so now i am going to create one instance i am going to this is the instance right so this is the instance correct this is aws instance this is uh, this is this is instance so this is the instance right this one, okay so this is the instance now so by default which volume available default root volume right now yesterday i created one ebs volume i created one ebs volume that is extra drive i created a one uh, ebs volume and attach it to this instance and i am going to do some operation here i am copying something and create uh, i am storing data i am storing some data ebs volume i am storing some data storing data so now even my instance is deleted i want to maintain this data so that case we should go for snapshot very simple so this is my instance already root volume is there i am going to create one uh, so ebs and uh, so i am attaching to this instance i am using i am creating something blah 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 same story yesterday class only and uh, so this volume we can use any region that is the story here this re this volume can use any region see here across the da migrate data across regions and accounts wherever you want we can use it so this data unfortunately my instance deleted my instant uh, terminated so now we have this uh, snapshot right this snapshot we can attach it to any instance i am going to create one more instance any region that is your wish so that is wish. this snapshot uh, so i am going to attach this instance that is the story i hope you got it right anyone any doubt disaster recovery so for example i am going to create uh, so this is also same aws instance so this is also one more instance i am going to create so sorry instance and uh, so already here uh, there is i am storing uh, storing data right here i am creating one snapshot snap snapshot and using this snapshot here i am going to create one more volume and uh, i am attaching it volume and attach it that's it so this is the now whatever data available here someone is joining whatever available data 
so that everything we can see here also that is nothing but uh, that is nothing but you know right copy your data so already i have some data here so same data i am going to copy this maybe another region this is for example it is running some mumbai region we are going to create uh, some mumbai region and uh, i am going to attach this to anything wherever you want us uh, virginia or uh, singapore wherever you want okay that is our wish okay the same thing we can see how it will work now come to here now first i need one instance so first go to here i am going to create one instance see here how it will work so first create one instance uh, this is snap snapshot ins just name i given ins remain story same whatever you know same only i am not going to change anything which region i am mumbai only and uh, select where is my key mumbai key and remaining story same only and default root value 8 gb only i am not going to change anything launch instance that's it <laughs> now so now instance is created now this is the default root value how much i have 8 gb i have 8 gb this is the 8 gb i have this is the 8 gb data i have now got it so this is the 8 gb data this is the 8 gb data i have okay now i am going to create one value i am attached to that instance so just assume so this is the instance now i am going to create one value click on values and create value and before that if you want to create value this is the difference if you before that make sure that where is your instance is running which availability zone 1a now got it so it is running 1a now value should be create where value should be create 1a 1a only that is the so 4gb i am giving 4gb and minimum 1gb maximum this is that remaining anal 1a nf and uh, so remaining things same only create value okay now so just wait this is 4gb and uh, my vol value i can give some name 4gb now just wait uh, it is creating what is this creating and meantime uh, so go to here my instance also so this is my instance now instance is running okay instance is running initializing okay now if you observe here so as of now go to storage so we have only root value correct if you go to here so this is the root value this is the default root value dv xvda root value 8 gb now i am going to attach it so how to attach go to value so first creating right just refresh it this is the yesterday class only you know right how it is creating and all same available select value and go to this action attach value and uh, so availability zone what is my instance now this is my instance right 153 correct only right 153 153 instance id correct only select this 153 and device name we can select anything we think we yesterday we selected one right so whatever you want sd dev see here whatever you want to say sdf so whatever you want we can select there is many these are the device names this and all our wish yesterday i selected this one right i am selecting same only attach it so part is done now what you need to do remind two steps once value is attached next what you need to do anyone attached a value next what you need to do first connect instance two steps we have to do right so i attached now storing some data before storing first we need to these steps we need to do one is uh, format one is format format the value and second one mount the mount the value this is the don't forget this one okay now same thing i am going to do now go to here go to here copy this one so where is my pm file my pm file is available not here here 
right click open git bash and uh, so copy and paste it that's it now yes okay control plus plus uh, now tell me so ls blk so now drive is available how to format this one sudo mkfs dot ext na what yesterday we given one name right anyone ext4 i think ext4 uh, already yeah. in the document we mentioned right uh, same thing so ext4 uh, so that one ext4 yeah. what is mkfs uh, make system make file system file system xvd uh, b my drive name is b my drive name is b so that is done next uh, mount it how to mount it so before mount it uh, uh, i am going to give anywhere where i where i need to mount this in local i need to mount it right this drive which drive you want to use it which directory i am going to create one directory okay so for example mkdr mkdr i am giving one directory name so for example uh, pra i am giving some okay project project info just assume project inf, info okay whatever name i mount this only pwd pwd i am mounting this path i am mounting this path uh, now what is the command sudo mount sudo mount what is your device name slash dv slash dv slash x v not dv slash x v d b f slash home slash dev apps slash sorry ec2 iphone user ec2 iphone yes. user slash which is the directory you want to mount project, project info, info. Direct info. info this is the path info that's it yes. done now cd space project wherever you want we can create directly that is your wish but i created here only i am going to create also few files here uh, tell me uh, whatever you want sudo vi sudo vi and uh, so config conf.txt and insert this is configuration file for uh, just I given only understanding purpose whatever you want this is you can create it so now touch 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 uh, for example so dev apps I am giving a uh, files I am going to create uh, one two two five files okay sudo next uh, mkdir I am creating one file also okay for example test directory sudo mkdr mkdr test now ll now these are the data guys now see here this is a volume i attached volume and i mount this volume to particular directory in the directory so there is a one configuration file and there is a some files there is a one directory so this is my data okay now how to take backup what is snapshot i want to take backup this one I want to attach this volume, this snapshot to another instance. Now, same story. So, now I created something, and uh, so I am going to this is the I created volume, and I, I added some files and all here, whatever. This and all I added here. What is this? So, I added this and all. Someone is joining. Okay. So, I added here. Okay. Now, go to here. This is my files available here all files available here correct files that is nothing but data so my data is available here data okay available here now i am going to create a snapshot what is snapshot is nothing but copy or backup now go to here this is the volume right this is the volume right select the volume and go to actions and there is a one option see here same story whatever i discussed now create snapshot so i am going to create snap select volume go to actions and uh, so create snapshot 
now so create snapshot and give description okay this is project info just i'm giving uh, some name okay now see here do we have any uh, availability zone here specifically we need to create and all no right so wherever you want we can create that is multi regions that is a multi region see here it will support data across region data across any regions or any accounts that is the advantage of this one that is the advantage of this one now go to here go to here this one and this all are encrypt whatever add tag and all this is your wish that's it so that's it create okay now tell me where you want to copy this data which region which account anything that is our wish okay now snapshot is ready now see here our snapshot is ready pending just wait it is creating and uh, just project snap snapshot just i given some name understanding purpose okay so now 4gb now data is our i take backup so wait so it will come we have to wait now let me tell me which region i need to go mumbai or singapore or anything us virginia anything now see here this is in mumbai now anyway i'm go to singapore or any north virginia that is your wish okay now i'm go to singapore region singapore region and i'm going to create one instance i am going to create one instance so new instance launch instance and uh, so this is singapore ins instance and remaining story same only i don't have key i need to key just i am given singapore key just is and the remaining story same only i am not going to do anything that's it launch instance now so now i have one instance mumbai region i have a snapshot backup i want to i want to use that data here in this instance how we can is there possibility how many ways we can do it anyone guess it naak data ekkada undi ekkada undi data so ee region lo undi data mottham project information ekkada undi something it is a problem mumbai region problem and uh, so there is a instance and all not working i have right snapshot backup so now i want to attach this to this instance i want to attach this backup volume to this instance that is my story now snapshot is available mumbai region or uh, here mumbai region mumbai region now how to copy this snapshot to singapore region there is a one option yeah. select yeah. snapshot yeah. where is this i am here it is singapore region now go to here mumbai region and click on snapshot select a snapshot select. and go to action there is one option is yes. copy, copy snapshot. snapshot okay click on yes. copy snapshot and now it is asking okay description destination region destination region where you want now tell singapore me. region singapore region what is the code just can you check there singapore 1 or 1 ep 1 or 2 here singapore right yeah yes my instance is running yeah, singapore my instance is uh, yes it is right ap Ambi. south Ambi. south east ap south east where yeah. you copy AP South. AP South. Now we need to go AP South East. Okay. There is no one B. This is the region, right? Okay. Okay, region. Select region. That's it. Okay. In the okay. region, uh, there is multiple availability zones. Okay. All are first, available. Let me see here first one, once in uh, Singapore region, whether the snapshots is there or not for confirmation purpose. Not available. No, uh, only we are created now nah, here. Uh, uh, no, somebody has a. Uh, no having got now go to here. here. And, uh, now yeah. uh, this is Singapore, right? Uh, yes. Go yeah. to snapshot. Nothing is snapshot. there. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing yes. Is yeah. There. My snapshot is available. Same here, right? Mumbai. Yeah. Now I'm copying now to so Singapore region. Now <laughs> go yeah. to here snapshot. 
and select uh, Singapore region and uh, that's it remaining and all same your wish copy see here that is this is my snapshot id and by default or else we can remove this one or can give your uh, own message also copy snapshot that's it now snapshot is available which region now go Singapore to here region. just refresh it now see here yes now got it copied snapshot from this is information now pending just wait okay this is very simple only if you understand very simple so same diagram so now i created one instance i attached one value i created some data so with the help of this value i created snapshot now how to copy there is one option and select value and select snapshot copy to it is asking destination region select singapore region now this snapshot available here now this snapshot available here also so snap snapshot available which region so singapore also singapore region. okay uh, singapore singapore also now so if you want to attach instance directly we are attaching uh, attach snapshot or volume ఇప్పుడు దీనికి నేను ఎక్స్ట్రాగా హార్డ్ డిస్క్ అటాచ్ చేశాను నేను స్నాప్ షాట్ ని అటాచ్ చేసానా ఫస్ట్ వాల్యూమ్ ని క్రియేట్ చేసి అటాచ్ చేసానా ఇక్కడ వాల్యూమ్ క్రియేట్ చేసి వాల్యూమ్ నౌ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు అటాచ్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ సో ఇస్ ఇట్ పాజిబుల్ టు డైరెక్ట్లీ అటాచ్ స్నాప్ షాట్ ఆర్ వి నీడ్ టు కన్వర్ట్ వాల్యూమ్ ఫస్ట్ దిస్ వన్ కన్వర్ట్ వాల్యూమ్ వి వాంట్ టు క్రియేట్ వాల్యూమ్ ఫస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ వాల్యూమ్ క్రియేట్ చేసి ఇన్స్టెన్స్ కి అటాచ్ చేశాను బట్ ఇక్కడ నాకు ఏదో ఉంది స్నాప్ షాట్ ఉంది సో ట్రై ఇట్ వెదర్ దట్ ఆప్షన్ ఈజ్ అవైలబుల్ ఆర్ నాట్ నౌ దిస్ ఈజ్ రైట్ రీఫ్రెష్ ఇట్ రీఫ్రెష్ ఇట్ నౌ కంప్లీటెడ్ అవైలబుల్ రైట్ నౌ సెలెక్ట్ దిస్ స్నాప్ షాట్ గో టు యాక్షన్ నౌ సీ హియర్ డూ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ ఆప్షన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ అటాచ్ ఇట్ టు ఇన్స్టెన్స్ నో రైట్ ఫస్ట్ వాట్ యూ నీట్ టు వీ నీట్ టు కన్వర్ట్ వాల్యూమ్ నౌ బిఫోర్ దట్ చెక్ వాల్యూమ్ సో ఓన్లీ వెల్ వన్ వాల్యూమ్ ఈజ్ దర్ now go to snapshot select snapshot go to actions and create from create snapshot. value from snapshot that is one option now got it yes now yeah. see here now what is the purpose 4 gb remaining and all uh, ap south only now it is available uh, so availability zone a availability zone lo kavalani ippudu adutundi wherever you want you can create in singapore yeah. we have three availability zones so whichever you want we can select now see here before that where is your uh, instance is running check it is 1b only 1b only va uh, sure uh? yes sir 1b yes 1b this is singapore region and uh, so 1b oh, we need to select 1b so now we need to select uh, so where you want to so 1b that's it now remaining story same only no need to do anything refresh it so now see here go to volumes now see here one volume is created now same story select this one select this one now it is available right select this one go to action uh, now tell me what you need to do attach attach volume uh, value what is the instance only one instance available that's it yes destination device name whatever you want we can select same way okay already we selected that xvdf whatever you want to section it so that's it now go to instance click on instance now you can see two two drives this is the root drive and this is a snapshot drive that is volume extra okay. volume okay attached now tell me what i need to do ipu na data mottham ir backup ochesindi so here snapshot i copy snapshot here with the help of snapshot i created volume i attached volume to this instance now here i did two options right one is format one is mount now i need to follow two options or only one or no need no no only one i think only one we have to do mount now click on this download i need to copy this key i need to copy this key and paste it uh, this is my drives okay paste it 
అర్థమైంది కదా కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడికి వచ్చేసింది ఇక్కడ సో నవ్ ఏవి ఐ అటాచ్ ఇట్ టు దిస్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ నవ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు రన్ దిస్ టు ఆర్ నో నీడ్ ఇక్కడ అయితే ఫస్ట్ టైం వాల్యూ కాబట్టి ఏం చేశాను ఫార్మేట్ చేశాను ఫార్మేట్ చేసిన తర్వాత మౌంట్ చేశాను బట్ వాట్ అబౌట్ హియర్ వి నీడ్ టు డూ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎనీ వన్ అట్లా ఇట్ గెస్ ఇట్ మీ పెన్ డ్రైవ్ ఉంది మీ పెన్ డ్రైవ్ ఉంది నేను పెన్ డ్రైవ్ మీకు ఇచ్చాను నెక్స్ట్ మీ సిస్టమ్ లో పెన్ డ్రైవ్ పెట్టిన తర్వాత దాన్ని ఏం చేస్తారు ఫార్మేట్ చేస్తారా లేదంటే డైరెక్ట్ గా కాపీ చేసుకుంటారా దట్ ఈస్ సేమ్ స్టోరీ వేర్ ఈస్ మై ఫైల్ ఐ నీడ్ టు కనెక్ట్ రైట్ go to here i am in singapore click on instance connect copy this one let me connect instance whether it is available or not go to pm file i am connecting singapore instance don't confuse here so s yes. now i am in singapore instance now see here ls now do we have any folder here ls blk now see here drive id drive attached drive attached now what i need to do so ikka ee drive lo malli mane em cheyali format cheyala no need format chese em avuthundi data mattham data erase ayipothundi ippudu nenu entha save chesindi erase chese danika no right డేటాని ఏం చేయాలి సేమ్ డేటాని నేను ఇక్కడ అటా యూస్ చేసుకోవాలి అటాచ్ చేసుకోవాలి దట్ ఈస్ బ్యాకప్ రైట్ ఐ నీడ్ సేమ్ డేటా సో నో నీడ్ టు డూ దిస్ స్టెప్ హియర్ సో మో ఫార్మేట్ అనేది నో నీడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ డూ ఫార్మేట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపనింగ్ డేటా మొత్తం ఏమైపోతుంది ఎరేజ్ అయిపోతుంది సేమ్ మనం ఎలా పెన్ డ్రైవ్ ఫార్మేట్ చేస్తాం సేమ్ లైక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యాక్టింగ్ లైక్ పెన్ డ్రైవ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డ్రైవ్ సో నవ్ వాట్ ఐ నీడ్ టు డూ నెక్స్ట్ స్టెప్ అవసరం లేదు ఓకే అర్థమైంది నెక్స్ట్ మౌంట్ చేయాలి కదా మౌంట్ అంటే ఏ డ్రైవ్ ఉందో మనం చెప్తున్నాం ఇప్పుడు డేటా ఆల్రెడీ ఉంది బట్ హ్యూమన్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ రీడ్ ఇట్ దట్ డేటా డైరెక్ట్లీ నవ్ మౌంట్ ఇట్ నవ్ టెల్ మీ దట్ కమాండ్ సో వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ వాంట్ వీ కెన్ క్రియేట్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ సేమ్ డ్రైవ్ యూ కెన్ గివ్ సేమ్ డ్రైవ్ ఎంకే 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 డిఏఆర్ ఎంకే డిఆర్ if you want that is your wish if you want to same pattern you can give it okay mount sudo mount slash dv slash xvdbf drive name mount point home slash ec2 ec2 hyphen user and that is this and all your wish same path if you want to we can give or else we can give now ls cd space see here one more directory is coming got it ante ekkada pettukovali ani cheppina ante that is this this directory and all your wish whatever name you want we can give it ardhamainda ఇప్పుడు ఈ డైరెక్టరీలో నాకు అక్కడ ఏ నేమ్ తో ఉంది సేమ్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ ఆర్ నాట్ చెక్ ఇట్ సో ఐ క్రియ దిస్ ఈస్ మై మౌంట్ పాయింట్ రైట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ మై మౌంట్ పాయింట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ మౌంట్ పాయింట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ మై మైండ్ పాయింట్ ఆల్రెడీ స్నాప్ షాట్ లో అక్కడ బ్యాకప్ డేటా అక్కడ ఏం పెట్టినా నేను ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వన్ డైరెక్టరీ ఇట్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ రైట్ సిటీ స్పేస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ నా ఎవ్రీథింగ్ అవైలబుల్ ఆర్ నాట్ గాట్ ఇట్ ఇవన్నీ నేను నేను ఎలా వచ్చింది ఇవన్నీ వయా స్నాప్ షాట్ ఓన్లీ ఐ టేక్ బ్యాకప్ ఐ కాపీడ్ ఎంటైర్ డేటా అండ్ ఐ క్రియేటెడ్ స్నాప్ షాట్ ఐ అట ఐ ఇయర్ ఐ క్రియేటెడ్ వన్ వాల్యూమ్ ఐ అటాచ్ దట్ వాల్యూమ్ నవ్ సీ హియర్ క్యాట్ స్పేస్ కాన్ఫిగ్ గాట్ ఇట్ ఎనీ వన్ ఎనీ డౌట్ హియర్ అర్థమైంది అసలు టాపిక్ okay so this is the so how to take backup like backup only and copying your files from one region to another region or if something goes wrong any disaster recovery already this values are available snapshots available and the, with the help of we can attach it to any region same so that case we should go for snapshot and uh, so now here there is one doubt okay now if we delete snapshot 
how to find for example real time they are maintaining uh, so many snapshots right so last interview they asked one uh, interview question so for example i am going to delete this snapshot so where i can find which snapshot deleted i want to know so there is many snapshots available i deleted one snapshot how to find so where that snapshot is available okay so there is one option available here so deleted deleted snapshots and all if you want to maintain there is a recycle bin one option available what is the option recycle bin even windows right if you delete any file where it will go guys in a file delete chesan delete chesan delete good recycle bin default ga recycle bin right now yes. got it now you can see that files course file i deleted right see course see here just now 57 date and time same way so in snapshot i created snapshot everything okay working fine for example some unnecessary snapshots i deleted now see here before delete first you need to enable this one we need to create a recycle bin name on directory otherwise it won't work okay now see here i am creating recycle bin and it is asking only some basic information see here to start protecting your snapshots and ami and create retention rules create instance in rule and so rule name okay dev rule whatever name we can give it okay description and retention how many days only eba snapshots or ami only two options available even maintain jayali only two options available so for this for this recycle bin i need to maintain only eba snapshots that's it so apply all resources whatever you want next recent period naaku recycle bin lo enni rojulu undali how many days maximum 365 days and minimum one day so i want to maintain only one days sorry seven days one week after seven days automatically it will delete that's it lock unlock this and all your wish now got it i am creating one data rule my rule in this uh, recycle bin i am maintaining only eba snapshots and this if deleted snapshots i want to maintain only so retention period so that time period that resource can be so record after deletion after seven days what is happening after seven days automatically deleted automatically deleted that's it okay create it now see here so this is the resources this is the retention rule see here rule is created rule is created this is a rule id the retention period is 7 days now if you click on this so if you click on this nothing is there nothing is there now see here i don't have anything recycle bin come back now go to here now try to understand i am selecting this uh, this one selected this one i am click on go to action and deleted where is this delete snapshot okay type delete click on delete deleted now unfortunately i deleted now again i want to restore it suppose if you are not created recycle bin is it possible to restore it not possible no, not possible before deleting we need to enable at least now go to uh, where is this go to snapshots go to snapshots now click on see click on recycle bin and click on resources it is not updated just wait automatically we can see here automatically we can see here now only i created right before copying snapshot anyway i will copy once again okay just wait we can see where is i am in mumbai region where is mumbai region mm, this is mumbai region and the snapshots click on snapshot copy snapshot action copy snapshot which region ap south correct where is that ap south okay create a snapshot now go to singapore region 
now already recycle bin and all created right now go to snapshot where is this go to snapshot close this one go to here just refresh it after now I recycle bin is already created now I copy right now I'm trying to delete now see here delete snapshot yes delete Now go to recycle bin and click on resources. Now see here. Actually, what is happening means uh, already I copied right the, uh, that is uh, snapshot and all. Later I created recycle bin. So now already I created recycle bin. Now I copied and deleted. Now automatically available here. Now if you go here, now snapshot available here. No right. Already I deleted. Unfortunately, I deleted. Now I want to restore it. Where I need to go? Where deleted snapshot available? Recycle bin. Recycle bin. Uh, go to recycle bin. Now click on resources. Select this one. Recover. There is one option. Recover. Yes. Now go to snapshot. Just refresh it. Again, it will see here. Now got it. So last intro they asked uh, so deleted. For example, I have many snapshots. I want to see what are the snapshots deleted. So where we can find under recycling recycle only. And uh, so before this snapshot copy and all first we need to configure recycle bin. So recycle bin support uh, two types. One is snapshot, other one is instance AMI. AMI that is image right not instance yeah. AMI okay. okay if you click on here uh, create resource uh, so in this uh, it is support uh, that is AMI Amazon machine image not entire instance uh, that is AMI only okay whichever you want okay. so if you want to we can create one for AMI and one for snapshot so in this uh, I created one uh, recycle bin right so retention rule right in this retention rule so what type uh, it is storing uh, only snapshots or AMI also in this rule only, only. Uh, we can create uh, multiple multiple uh, retention rules uh, whatever you want we can create it uh, that's it I hope you got it right so how to create a snapshot and uh, so how to attach it to another region also another region also wherever you want uh, we can attach so any instance this is the like simply if you want to understand copy data or take backup backup of your volumes ebs take backup your ebs now delete all these things all are uh, otherwise right mm, this is where i am in here yeah, delete so this is actual delete snapshot delete I don't want all these things I am in Singapore region and go to uh, where is uh, this in also click on resources select resources and uh, recover resource yes again go to here go to snapshot close this one close this one close this one snapshot where is snapshot click on this refresh it delete all these things otherwise they will charge first we need to delete the recycle bin other if you delete means again where it will go recycle bin. Uh, first we need to go to here delete this one thanks yes. rule otherwise again it is coming here action delete retention rule okay delete keep on if you delete means again it will go again it will come now got it yes now go to here now select snapshot select this one now delete delete okay so that's it now go to stop this instance also I don't want select this terminate that's it now come to Mumbai region I don't want I am in Mumbai region this is also Singapore 
this is also Singapore is I am Mumbai okay now I hope you got it right clear guys how to create snapshot snapshot is nothing but simply backup or copy of your data copy of our data so we can copy data from one region to another region any region one account to another account also possible okay and uh, so deleted snapshot and all we can see under the recycle bin only under the recycle bin only under the recycle bin only now select a snapshot and select this one action delete snapshot that's it okay volume also so this is my volume this is also volume select delete detach volumes detach okay now select this and all delete where is delete nova already it is available or in use it is in use first we need to detach detach force detach value because it is already attached i need to delete each and everything first we need to remove there only then we can delete it anyway instance is running and all first stop all these things okay now got it now where is my instance go to here running instance stop instance anyway i am going to do one new uh, uh, service right i need to use it later i will stop it uh, delete it okay now i hope you got it guys anyone any doubt snapshot how to create what is the purpose why you go for and all same only now there is uh, now let's move on to one new service i hope uh, this is my instance right i want to see my instance what is the cpu what is memory usage what is the cpu and all how can i track it guys you know right linux one command we are using top command memory usage you know right top command what is the purpose yes, of top command free free command top command what is difference top and free there is two commands right free is available for how much of data is free cpu utility top means free means iphone m i given this is the command mostly they are asking what is free iphone m command correct or wrong memory memory ram right yes. ram related information what is the used ram and what is available ram under top means it will give cpu uh, cpu memory everything right cpu ram everything and process id blah 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 it will give something got it now this is my instance so by default aws people they are providing one option if you click on instance and uh, so if you go to here there is one monitoring option available you know right storage you know security you know same way there is a monitoring one option available so monitoring means uh, i want to see what is the cpu utilization what is network utilization see here we can see there is uh, many things we can track it right got it so if you click on manage detail monitoring see here so after you enable detail monitoring for an instance monitoring data is available in one minute period so by default now it will come every five minutes every five minutes we can track here we can track here this is monitoring this is a default monitoring option available and if you want to we can so monitor here what is percentage cpu percentage network percentage everything blah 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 and all and uh, so this is every five minutes i don't want five minutes every one minute there is a if you want to enable if you click on if you click on manage detailed monitoring if you click on this there is one option now see here confirm now so every one minute so we can matrix we can get information you can get information so this is the default one this is the default one and same way like this if you want to monitor real time so there is only one instance right suppose if you have 100 instance 
100 instance how can you monitor each and uh, every instance you go and you click on monitoring option is it good practice if not 10 instance on i a cp utilization should only for the instance kelly mirror monitoring monitoring and click chasara no. you got it are not on that hello no, now this is only one instance i can go and see click on the monitoring i can see it for example i have five instances if you five instances every time we can open one by one and click on monitoring our tab that is very difficult right real time clear yes sir so now clear. for this purpose aws people they are providing one option one service that is cloud watch see here cloud c l o u d cloud watch cloud watch now see here where is cloud watch see here monitor resources and applications what you can monitor monitor your all aws resources and also we can monitor your applications what we can monitor see here we can monitoring logs we can monitor metrics we can monitoring alarms we can monitor dashboards these are the some of the features these are the some of the features these are the some of the features see here we can monitor logs metrics alarms and all if you click on cloud watch you can if you click on cloud watch so aws cloud watch if you click on aws cloud watch see here amazon cloud watch is a monitoring and management service that provides data and actionable and so insights for aws on premises hybrid or other whatever you want so now see here this is official document whatever you want we can get it so how to get it there is many things we can configure if you want to learn cloud wars also at least we can learn three to six months there is many options available but entire purpose no need all these things and uh, so whatever you want minimum requirement just it okay so cloud watch observe and monitor secure uh, resources and applications on aws on the premises and other whatever you want to see service that monitors your applications response to the performance your changes optimizes resources usage and cpu whatever you want whatever you want we can monitor that's it now if you go here so if you go here so if you go come here there is many options available here see here there is a alarm this is the dashboard if you want to we can configure dashboards and there is alarms if you want to we can click alarms if you want to see logs there is a logs and if you want to configure metrics we can configure metrics only or if you want to configure events only or if you configure networks related and whatever you want we can configure there is many options available see here so many options available whatever based on requirement whatever you want we can configure it so for example i have one instance just assume here i have one instance i want to monitor this particular mission you know right cp utilization i want to do something i want to do something so as of now i can and so if my cp utilization reaches particular condition i want to get some message also in real time we are getting emails for example cpu for example cpu utilization utilization reach greater than for example 10 percent or real time we are maintaining 80 90 percent 80 percent i want to get email we need to get email or we need to get a message sms sns sms whatever you want we can configure see here cp utilization suppose my instance cp utilization it reaches 80 percent i need to one email or i need to get one sms for my mobile how we can configure as of now do can you get anything for example my cp utilization reached 90 percent can i get any intimation now no right if you want to send the monkey Intimation. No, no right. I didn't configure anything. For example, just assume this is my Mumbai instance. Suppose my CPU utilization, my CPU utilization reaches a certain condition. I am giving 90%. So I am not getting any intimation. I am not getting any email. I am not getting any SMS. So how to configure this and all? 
if you want to configure this and all not only cpu there is many options available now try to understand one option see here come to cloud watch now i am going to create one alarm see here before that which message you want which message you want so you want to mobile or you want to email everyone we have mobile right mobile means 24 hours we are with the hand only right for example i need to configure mobile message there is a one service s what is the service sns or sms simple notification service notification service sns or sms sms notification service see here simple notification service first we need to configure this one before configure the cloud watch click on this now so this is the click now if you click on this now it will come like this see here so this is the one service sns simple notification service and uh, so you want to first in first out and uh, so are standard if you select standard it is asking uh, so some options see here topic name for example uh, cpu or we can give any name okay dev apps okay alert alarm ar okay i given uh, this is the name whatever name we can give copy and paste it next go to here and uh, so where is this okay i gave a name only right standard okay it will support see here best effort message deliver ordering and message delivery and uh, so highest uh, throws whatever you want we can this is just create it that's it this is a basic only create it once it is created uh, so there is a create subscription if you click on create subscription now it is asking some options uh, protocol see here this is your uh, ARN already default is created and if you click on protocol so now here there is many options available select which one you want you want sms you want uh, so https or you want http or you want email or you want to so lambda functions or sqs or whatever you want okay now i need sms right or email whatever you want you can select it so now i need sms click on sms and uh, so now it is asking endpoint endpoint means a mobile number so click on here add phone number now click on here select india india uh, give any one number will get notification your own mobile number one day only message will get that's it 9797 now we'll get one code. Tell me that code. Mobile verification code. Nine seven. Nine seven. Six four. Six four. Double two. Double two. Double two. Okay, that's it. Okay. If you want to, we can configure email. But real time, so no, mostly we are configuring email only. But anyway, mobile we have, right? That's it. So that's it. Create. Done. Already we had it, right? <clears throat> That's it. Close it. And uh, subscription SNS. Where is my SNS? SNS. Simple nail notification. And uh, left side. And dashboard. Dashboard. Topics. This is my this one, right? So this is the subscription. It is done or not? It is saved or not? Please message. We didn't complete last. Completed. Ah, okay. We okay. didn't complete, sir. Okay. Subscription. Create subscription. Subscription name. This one. Protocol. SNS. 
and uh, so endpoint this one only right okay add phone number and uh, india already added right i think no need add mm, back wait sns uh, and phone number that's it create subscription this one okay done subscription also done confirmation okay now go to cloud watch so anyone any doubt here just i created uh, one uh, so subscription and added i selected uh, some options and we added your phone number i want phone number message only now go to your dashboard okay so now click on cloud watch click on cloud watch clo cloud watch click on cloud watch click on cloud watch now simply will there is many options available just try to understand how it will work so in in alarm i need one alarm create alarm and uh, so here we need to select matrix matrix means just now i given right based on how cp utilization or ram or anything whatever you want your wish select matrix and uh, so see here what we can re monitoring guys matrix uh, 220 sorry 429 resources available which one you want to monitoring you want to monitoring backup or we want to monitoring ebs or you want to monitoring ec2 or you want to monitoring efs or events or logs or usage tell me whatever you want instance right already i have one instance click on ec2 now under ec2 there is a image id or you need to only pre instance pre instance matrix or aggregate by instance so this means these are the count now already pre instances 330 137 instances available select this one and uh, so what is your instance id select your instance id these are the your instance id only one instance only and which one you want to monitoring cp utilization see here cp utilization see here i added so these are the options see here many options available now see here cp utilization and select matrix same whatever i discussed just i am configuring this one only okay now cp utilization now this is instance id and this is the statistics so what we need to select maximum okay and period also one minute this is statistics average okay or we can give uh, so maximum one minute and uh, so here uh, you know right uh, so where is this at this maximum period correct only right now go to here whatever you want uh, so we can select here now i am clicking statics only now this is the default threshold uh, how much percentage you can in 80 each and 80 and mali man increase sale gada then i am giving also 0 0.1 percent okay so if my greater than here i am selected greater than threshold if my cp utilization greater than 0 0.1 automatically will get one message to your mobile number that's it next alarm so see here in configuration you know sns right or new topic or any other things send notification this is my alarm notification that's it this is my phone number so remaining next instance action what you need to do so if i reach my cp utilization this is the condition this is the instance right so here i given uh, cpu utilization greater than i given 0 0.1 i think what we need to do we need to stop or we need to restart or we need to shut down whatever you want terminate terminate there is many options available select whichever you want so what we need to do we need to stop the instance or we need to terminate the instance or you need to reboot the instance now got it Stop. see here now my instance is running now see here my instance is running now i am selecting uh, stop the instance okay now that's it click on next and alarm name okay dev apps 
test I given ARM. Okay. Whatever you want, we can give. Click on next. These are the metrics and all. If everything okay, finally click on alarm. That's it. Now alarm is created. Now alarm is created. All alarm alarm insufficient data. Just wait. Okay. So just wait. Action is enabled. Click on this. Now we can see here. We can see CPU utilization and all. Now go to here. Instance, right? Now just refresh it. Still it is right. Now how to increase uh, how to increase uh, CPU utilization? Still it is not increase. Now go to here. Let me connect. Uh, we know one command, right? How to increase CPU utilization? Connect and uh, so connect instance. How to increase CPU utilization? There is one command, right? Yes, Any yes, greater than. Hmm. Yes, greater than. Yes, greater than. Slash dev slash null. Slash dev. Slash. Uh, slash null. Correct. Uh. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Am person. Oh. Hmm. Next. Uh. Am person. Space am person. Hmm. Top. Top in just we are checking the CPU. See here 88 percent. Now go to your instance, just wait. Now click on here. Now instance, right? Now check your instance, it is stopped or not. Now it will go to stop only. There is cloud watch alarms in alarm status. Here also we can check it. What happens? Still here it is not showing anything. Go to here. First go to normal. Go to normal uh, monitoring. Monitoring and uh, CPU utilization. Okay. Detail monitoring also we enable right correct only now see here here we can see CPU utilization and this alarms recommendation means we can see here also every one minute and all but anyway we'll see just wait one or two minutes whether it will stop or not maybe you missed something if it is not stopped means uh, we didn't select a proper option let me create one more alarm uh, where is this cloud watch cloud watch we are given one minute time for that one minute huh? okay. yeah now just wait one minute one minute one minute, huh? one minute huh? for creation of uh, alarm just wait we'll see one minute that's it automatically it will go to stop this instance whatever you want this and all uh, our requirement only there is no restriction you want to stop or you want to restart or you want to submit or you want to whatever you want we can do it there are the creation alarm there one insufficient data is visible also what's the meaning Insisible. still it is not updated huh? wait i think it is the problems available Inception data. We configure view edit edit. Is there any edit option? First one, sir. First view first one. First one. Uh, edit CPU utilization maximum cost average. Select it and here we need to one minute only, right? Static six maximum or minimum. Here I said previous I selected min or max. Maximum threshold any option enable TM. I don't want. Scroll down, sir. There is threshold is this. Already I give one. This is correct only. Or you can give one also. Here. Maximum only period one minute only. CP utilization only. 
use a value as threshold use a bond okay correct only set now dev apps action equal to alarm we need to stop instance fail. failed okay set update with alarm now just wait we'll see or else something missing I find for just try it or else maybe something missing will create new one and I'll check it tomorrow okay now already 8 foot 15 right okay it will work or else you can create one new alarm just try it or else i will show you next class okay guys so we can configure many things so just i created a so cp utilization one minute i completed or not still not completed huh? okay so that's it from my side